I want to give a special shout out to my patrons, to my Bibliosprand, Biblioswarn, and Bibliomancers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means a lot to me. Hi everyone, Patek here. Today's video will be an unboxing video, so it's been a while since I made uh, any unboxing videos. But today, uh, because this month I apparently have received uh, two boxes of books from the Broken Binding and also Illumicrate, I thought I might as well combine them into one video. So the first one that I will open is the one from the Broken Binding. So this one, uh, I have a feeling that this is either uh, Valor or maybe Before They Are Hanged. So Valor is by John Gwynn and Before They Are Hanged is by Joe Abercrombie. Both Valor and Before They Are Hanged are actually second book uh, of a series and both of them are actually part of my favorite series of all time. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. I think this will be a Valor because if I'm not mistaken, Broken Binding just sent their copies of Before They Are Hanged. So yeah, we'll see. Ta-da! And this is my weak scissors. But now I know how to open this box. So it won't take too long. Okay, see? I got it already. Ta da! So as always, Broken Binding are always excellent in their wrapping, so this is proof. See, this is so neat. Oh, sorry, you cannot see me. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this is so neat. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to destroy this. Whoa. Yeah, I'm right. So this is Valor because this is written as Truth and Courage, the main motto of the Faithful and the Fallen series. Wow, this is so nice. I always feel bad about opening this kind of package because it's so nicely wrapped. It's like, it's like a present. So yeah, I'm going to open this. ASMR. This is so pretty, so beautiful. Yeah, so this is the hardcover of Valor. Yeah, the second book in the Faithful and the Fallen series and the spray edges is green, yeah. I think this one will have the same number as the one that I got for Malice. But I actually cannot remember where, yeah, yeah, this is, it's correct. This is the same number that I got for Malice. And yeah, this is sign. And you can see the logo for the broken binding here. So this is another signed copy of another John Gwynn's book to add to my collection. And yeah, this really looks nice. I mean, I think a lot of you know already that John Gwynn's and his Vanished Land Saga is one of my top favorite series of all time. And I'm glad that I have the chance to actually own this series in hardcover because yeah, I will always talk about this series. I will always praise this because yeah, this is a series that means a lot to me. It is truly one of the best epic fantasy series of all time. Yeah, this. Look at the spine, and this is the edges. This is hands down another excellent job from The Broken Binding, and I look forward to receiving Ruin and Brad, which is the third and the fourth book in the Faithful and the Fallen series. And if you haven't read this series yet, well, what are you waiting for? Please, please give this series a try. And of course, make sure to check out The Broken Binding. They are doing an excellent job in this book selling and special edition business, and I think they will keep on improving. And now we, and now we move on to the second box. This one is sent to me by Illumicrate, and this is, uh, it's April's book of the month. It's April's box of the month, sorry. For this one, I haven't 100% confirmed it yet, but I have a feeling I know what this book is, so yeah, we'll see. This is so hard. Okay, I got it open, and yeah, time to take a look inside this. Oh no, there's another one that I have to open. <laughs> mm -hmm, what do we have here? And 
Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the name of the box. It's called Nothing But Thieves. Yeah, so this is the uh, April's box of the month. And now let's take a look what's inside. <laughs> what is this? A song to the spirits. This is a paper craft kit designed by Rosie Thorns 88 exclusively for Illumicrate. I think this one is this from is this from City of Brass? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm right. This is called Song of the Spirits Paper Craft Kit. Piece together one of our favorite scenes from City of Brass, which is S.A. Chakraborty debut novel with this exclusive paper craft kit. Yeah, I'm going to open this uh, later. <laughs> now let's move on to the next item. Oh, this is the book. Hold on, I'm going to... Sh is this the book? No, what is this? Stories are a way to preserve oneself, to be remembered and to forget. This one. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, hold on. This is a to be remembered print album with an artwork by Fess Ingright. Store all your favorite memories and artwork in this print album inspired by the invisible life of Eddie LaRue. This is the spine and this is the back. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. Is this like, this is like a photo album, I think. We have three more items here. Uh, this one is Gilded Wolf's bookmark set. Ta-da! This one has an artwork done by Gabriela Budioso, and it features all the main characters from the series. These bookmarks are as beautiful as they are useful. Bookmarks are always useful, of course. For the <laughs> So I think this is the five main characters from the book called Gilded Wolves. And then before we move on to the main highlight, which is the book, well, I have to open this first. <laughs> Oh, this one isn't too hard. This is supposedly an art history book pot with a design by Chetty Nora. What is this? A picture of art history? A glimpse into the imagination of our great artists. So on here it's written, our latest book pot is inspired by art history. Can you guess which famous painting inspired the design? Yeah, no, I can't. Which famous painting inspired this design? I don't know about it, so if you know, make sure to let me know on the comment section. <laughs> But yeah, this looks really nice. This is the inside, the back, the spine, and the front cover. And finally, the last item on this box, which is the book. This is Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee. Ta-da! Will could hear the sirens. They sounded like a promise. I think this is a heist novel. I've heard about this uh, being mentioned on Twitter several times, but I haven't checked it further, so maybe now is the right time. Yeah, so this one. Oh, look at it. Uh, hold on. Oh, this is the naked book cover. I'm going to show it uh, to you after I show you this. Ta-da! The inside of the dust jacket actually looks so pretty. I think this reverse dust jacket is done by Little Shimura. Yeah, she did uh, the artwork for Atlas 6 by Olivia Blake. I think she's very well known for it, and I really love Little Shamura's artwork. So gorgeous, well done to Illumicrate and the cover artist. So yeah, I don't think this is a fantasy book, I think this is a contemporary heist novel. But yeah, this looks really nice, and this is, this is the naked hardcover. Look, picture of tiger, so many tigers. And this is the spray edges. And on here it's written, enjoy your Illumicrate edition with all exclusive cover, foil embossing on the hardback, reverse Dutch jacket artwork by Little Shimura, and spray edges. This edition is also signed by the author. And yeah, I don't usually read uh, outside of science fiction and fantasy, but I do have a soft spot for heist novels, so maybe one day I will read this one. But either way, this is another gorgeous edition by Illumicrate, and I want to say thank you so much to Illumicrate and also The Broken Binding for sending me these two books. Just like The Broken Binding, Illumicrate is a great company specializing in special edition, and I highly recommend you to check out their website. And if you want to check out their subscriptions, especially for the three months and six months uh, subscription, make sure to use my code Patrick5 for a discount. Yeah, 
So thank you so much to both Illumicrate and also The Broken Bonding for sending me these two books. Yeah, they look super awesome. So yeah, that's it for me today. What do you think about these two books? What do you think about this edition? Which one looks better in your opinion? And which one you have read? And if you haven't read any of these, do you think this kind of special edition will compel you to try them more or not? Do let me know about that. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye.